You may have heard of server actions, which are a new alpha feature in Next.js 13.4. They let you run server-side code directly from your React components without setting up an API endpoint. I've got a blog application here built with Next 13. It lists out some blog posts. We can view the post and we can visit slash new to create a post. And this page renders a form with a title and some content. And the forms action is wired up to create post, which is a server action. We know it's a server action because it says use server. And then we just grab the title and content from the form data. We create the post in Prisma and then we redirect to the new post page. So if I were to try this out, write something, then uh, we see we end up on post slash 84. So that's pretty cool. We can see our new post here on the home page and everything works. Now you might be thinking, uh, I've used frameworks before that let me co-locate my server code right alongside my React component directly in the same route module. Why is this any different from that? Well, uh, let's build a new feature really quick. I've got an idea for something new. I want to come to the home page and I want to be able to add blog posts right from here, just a little quick add section. So back in our home page, let's come down below where we list our posts and just add a quick add section. So I don't want to have to go to new, type this in and click save. I want to be able to just add it right here. So wouldn't it be cool if I could just render out a new post form right here? Well, let's go ahead and make a new post form component. And I'm going to come to our new page and uh, I'm going to steal this entire component right here, the markup for this. And we'll export a function new post form. This is going to render our form for us. So let's go ahead and import this. That's looking good. Let's get rid of this new post title. and this div, and our little quick add section is looking good. With one exception, we need this create post action. So how might we get this? Uh, should we come to our new page and pass in an on submit? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go back to our new post page, and I'm just gonna grab this action and bring it right alongside the rest of our component. Let's give this a shot. Does this work? Pretty cool, right? We brought the action from our page alongside our React component. This is a reusable new post form component. We are rendering it in our page and our page is not passing anything in. Let's see if we can replace all of this code in our actual new route with the form. New post form. We don't need this anymore and we don't need this. Let's go back to our new route. We see the new post label, but now the form is being rendered from the component. Let's try it from the new route. Works great. We see it in the index page. So uh, this is kind of a nice pause worthy moment here. We've got our uh, new page route up here. We've got our home route right here. Both are rendering this new post form and um, both are able to take advantage of React markup and server actions together. If we open up this component, we're gonna see that we have made a completely portable full stack component. And this component doesn't know anything about where it's being rendered. And this is one of the big differences with any of the solutions that have come so far in frameworks with letting you co-locate server-side code with React markup with your React components. We can render this code, it renders our form, and this new action API uh, wires it up with this server action, and all of this code is encapsulated, and again, it doesn't know where it's being rendered. So this is pretty awesome, and it kind of gets at the heart of how these server actions unlock a whole new level of composability. Now, speaking of composability, there's one more thing I want to change, and that is the behavior after we create the post on the home page. So if I were to make some quick post, I had a thought. Uh, I think it'd be nice after we save it, if I wasn't redirected to the new post page, maybe I just kind of stay on the home page here because that's kind of the point of this UI, right? I want to stay on the home page so I can quickly add new posts. Well, in our new component, we have this redirect 
hard coded, right? But it would be nice on the home page if we could customize what happens. Well, how do we do this in a normal React component? Maybe we'd have an after save. And I could just do something like redirect to slash. And the form could just invoke whatever callback we give it. So let's try to implement this. We'll come down to our component. We want to expose an after save prop. And ideally, after we run this action, we want to call create post. We want to remove this. And then we want to call after save. But how can we get after save inside of our server action? Well, in React, we can just define callback functions directly in the body of our component. And this way, they have access to any props we pass in. Let's see if we can do this with server actions. We'll come back to our home page and uh, save our new code. And we'll go ahead and import redirect from next navigation. And uh, let's try out this new after save prop. This is getting crazy. Testing. Okay, we got an error. Functions cannot be passed directly to client components unless you explicitly expose it by marking it with use server. So this is pretty cool. React knows we're calling after save inside of a server action. So after save itself needs to be a server action too. Use server. Now we're getting a compile time error. Server actions must be async functions. So let's make this async. And that means over in our component, this is an async function. Let's go ahead and await it. Okay, let's try this again. Did we do it? Look at that. Got our new post. It's all working. And on the home page here, we just redirected right back home. And so we saw the list refresh. Let's come over to our new page. And right now we don't have an after save. Let's just add an async function that uses the server. And here we want to do exactly what we used to do with our new page, and that is redirect to the new post detail page. So we can grab redirect from next navigation, but how do we get the post ID? Well, again, how would we do this in normal React? A little bit of inversion of control here. We can just pass our newly created post directly to our after save callback. And now on our new page, after save can yield out the post, which we can use to redirect to the detail page. Let's try out our new route. Boom, redirect to the detail page, back home. We see it right here. And if we wanted another quick post, we don't redirect. So uh, this is pretty cool. We are passing callbacks into a reusable form. We don't need redirect in this form anymore and the form is still able to do its thing and uh, everything is in sync. Now it turns out there's an even better way to kind of handle this after save on the home route. Instead of redirecting back home since we're already here, uh, we actually see a flash when we do this. Test one, two, three. I'll just zoom out here so we can see. When I create, we'll see kind of a flash, but we don't need to redirect. All we need to do is revalidate path. This is something that comes from the next cache, and it kind of works with all these pieces to refresh any data that our component might be fetching, in this case, all of our posts. So let's try it with revalidate path. And there we see the post update, and there's no flash. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we can see the form isn't resetting. I actually just tried to do something like key this div based on the first post ID. And if we refresh, test this out, then uh, that seemed to do the trick. But the uh, point being here is that hopefully you can see how flexible uh, this is to be able to compose these server actions and have the full power of a function callback that the caller can use to customize what happens. And again, Next and React Actions are stringing this all together. 
in this reusable component which again has no idea what URL it's being rendered to. It's kind of like a component that has a hidden API route that it uses to do some server side stuff, but we didn't have to set up uh, any API route and all of this is happening on the server. All of these components are still server components. We haven't used a single client component yet. And so we have all the benefits of the integration of React server components with the routing in terms of refreshing the cache and that actions play in order. All of this good stuff that has come from all of these new React features, we kind of get for free, but we're able to make this new post form component that has React, you know, JSX in here, good old JSX that we've been writing for years and a create post event handler, what looks like an event handler that's actually defined inside the body of the component and has access via this closure to a customized callback prop that we pass in. It looks like React, it feels like React, it's as composable as React, and we can use this component and customize it just the way we would a normal React component, except it has all these new capabilities. So I thought that was a really neat example showing why server actions make these server components, and they also work with client components, why they make them even more composable than any pattern that a framework has had yet. And um, I'm really excited about kind of the stuff that's gonna unlock for the community to share these full stack reusable components. So again, these are in alpha. So if you play with them, just be aware of that. Um, otherwise, hope that gave you a nice little overview, maybe gave you some confidence to try them out for yourself. Uh, that's it for me on this one, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.